Welcome, Mike McMillan here, and I'll be your host here today. Thank you for stopping by. Well, sometimes you may need just a little flair to juice up some of your videos. You'll be able to do everything you see here right inside of ScreenFlow. Now I've put together a free graphics package. I'll show you how to get this in just a second. Um, but you need some graphics to be able to do this. And what I've done is I've put together some arrows, some starbursts, things like that. These all have black outlines, as you can see. These all have white outlines, as you can see. And I'll show you the difference and how you can use those in just a second. So let me show you how this technique can work for you. Suppose you're doing an instructional video showing somebody how to make a web page or something and you want a flashing arrow, something like that in there. Um, with a light background like I've got here, I like to use a graphic with a black outline. It shows up better. Okay, um, And then sometimes you may have a darker background like this, and I like to use a graphic that has a white outline like this arrow has, or maybe a yellow outline like this one has. I'll show you how to do all this in just a second. Okay, well, let's take a look at this. Um, what I've got up here, it, it says this is a small clip from a video where I show people how to use an application called Swift Publisher. That's something that I use pretty much every day. Um, it's what I use to my, write my books, my ebooks, you know, things like that. So I've got a little video where I show people how to use Swift Publisher. Okay. And then right here, I'm using ScreenFlow to record this screencast. Okay. That's, that's what I'm using to uh, record this. Now, suppose that I get started in here and I come in here and I'm going to show people how to you know, add some text, delete some text, move text around, make it bold, italic, um, you know, things like that, and change the color of it. And I show them how to do some things in Swift Publisher that would be useful, you know, to learn what to do. But then I come to a point down here in this section, and I want to add a flashing arrow like this to highlight an area that I'm going to be talking about. Now, I don't know if you could notice back there, but this blue arrow has a black outline. That black outline makes it show up better, especially if it's on a light colored background. Okay, um, So you might be saying, okay, Mike, but I don't have any arrows, you know, or I don't have any starbursts or anything. Well, I'm going to give you a free package that I put together. I made these in Adobe Illustrator and then exported them as PNG files. And they all have clear backgrounds, transparent backgrounds. Uh, some have black outlines, some have white outlines, uh, things like that, and I'll show you why that might be important. But you can get these. I'll show you how to get these, download these in just a second. So suppose you want to do something like that. Well, let me show you how you can do that. Okay? Well, okay, so let me show you how to get a flashing graphic you know, going on in there. So what I could do, this is just the uh, screencast I made that I showed you a second ago. And suppose that I get right here and I want to have an arrow come in and highlight this. So this is a screen recording, a screencast that I did right here down on the bottom. Okay, And it could be a live video that you shot, live action, a gaming video, cooking video. It could be anything. It can be live action, a screencast like this, whatever. But I want to get some, uh, get a flashing arrow in there to highlight part of this. So what I can do right here I'm going to give you this folder, let you download it here in just a second if you'd like to. But I've got some arrows, starbursts, different things you can use. Some of these, they all have transparent backgrounds. Some have black borders, some have white borders. And I'll show you the difference in those in just a second. But suppose I want to use that blue arrow. I could use a red arrow, um, you know, whatever. But wherever I want to have that flashing graphic, I can bring this in just like this. And make sure when you do this, that your graphic is on top of whatever your recording is. Okay, it needs to be on top, otherwise it'll be behind there and it won't show up. So yeah, I've got this. Now let me just show you something. Um, I'm going to hit Command um, uh, plus, 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 Command plus, so this will show up a little better. And I'm going to click on this blue arrow. And it's pointing the wrong way. So what you can do is right here, see this little handle? I'll grab this, and I, that'll let me rotate this and turn it. And I'll turn it 90 degrees, just like this. Okay. Now I'll hit Command minus, Command minus, Command minus, and I'll get back to the size that I had. 
Okay, and now I can drag it down here. That's a little bit scary. That arrow's a little bit bigger than what I'd like. So I grab one of these corners and I squeeze it down to the size that I want and I move it right where I want, just like this. So now when this plays um, and it gets to that graphic, the graphic just comes up and it stays there. It's not flashing or doing anything. So what I want to do then is on this gearbox, I'll click on this on my graphic, okay? And then I'll click on this little gearbox right here, and it says Show Clip Inspector, and I'll click on that. And this shows that my graphic right now is lasting for five seconds. That's how long it stayed on the screen. That's too long. So what I want to do is, after playing around and doing this lots of times, um, instead of five seconds, I'm going to highlight that 5.0 seconds, and I'm going to make it about half a second. I actually make it about four tenths of a second. I put 0.4 seconds in there, okay? And then I'll hit my tab uh, key, and that sets it, and see how small it got now, because now it's only four tenths of a second long. So now if I play this, you can see it flashes on for four tenths of a second. It just comes on and it goes away. Okay, But to make it flash, there are different ways you can do it. The easiest way is just to clip on your graphic right down here. Hit Command C, that copies it. Now this is important. You want to take your scrubber bar right here. Let me move this back up. I want to take my scrubber bar and I want to move it right to the end of my graphic right there. Now remember I copied that graphic. So now I'll hit Command V, which pastes. Paste it in once. I'll paste it in again. I mean, eight or ten times, something like this. Okay. Now if it plays, see it still just shows that one arrow because it's actually showing that arrow a number of times. But what I want to do then, whoops, what I want to do then is come into every other arrow. Hit delete. The next one. Hit delete. And just delete every other one just like that. Okay, that's all I, you know, take this one out. Um, but now when this comes in and this plays, when it gets to the arrow, watch what happens. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and typically what I do with the last arrow, the last whatever the graphic could be, a graphic you've created or one of mine, whatever, I like to stretch it out and make it last a little bit longer on the last one so it'll look something like this. So when this plays, two, three, four, five, and see the last one kind of stays there for a second and uh, gives it <clears throat> a little bit more time. Okay, so that's how we can make a flashing graphic. Now I want to show you why I made white backgrounds or white outlines and black outlines um, for you to use and you could make these on your own. I'll show you how you can make them simply in seconds in just a second. Okay well I told you that I gave you some uh, some of those arrows and starbursts that had a white outline around them and in a case like this this is another video that I made about how to do something <laughs> whatever and uh, this has a black background and so if I used it with one of those arrows with a black outline that wouldn't show up at all. So um, in a case like this I would use an arrow one of the arrows that I've got that uh, has a white outline like that. It'll show up better in a darker background if it's a live video or it's a, a screencast that you've done, whatever. You could use a starburst with like a yellow background to make it show up better. That's why I gave you some different types of uh, graphics that you could use. But still, even if you use a white uh, outline around your graphic, you still would make the flashing effect just like I showed you earlier. Okay? Now, um, some of you may have Photoshop, which uh, if you do, you probably use it all the time. So I'll just very quickly just show you a very, very easy way to make some graphics in Photoshop. Um, if you don't like mine and you want to make some of your own, you know, that's fine. Um, so I'm going to come in here and uh, just click on Create New. And I'm going to set this up. I've got it set up right now so that you can see it's 100 pixels wide and 100 pixels tall. I got the resolution set at 100 pixels per inch. So I'm just going to click on create right here. And then um, this looks pretty small. I'm going to hit command plus, command plus, so we can make it a little bigger, make it show up a little bit bigger. And um, 
then if you, for example, you want to make some of your own graphics, you could come over here, and this is basically, it's your rectangle tool, okay, that you have in Photoshop. Um, but what you can do is instead of the rectangle tool, come down to this custom shape tool right there, okay? And then you can come up here, and there are all of these, you know, different graphic designs that you can just point and click and make. So for example, um, if I wanted to make an arrow like this, I could click on this arrow symbol and then I could come over here and just draw out, you know, my arrow, however I want it to look, maybe just like this, okay? And then, um, you know, this is what my arrow would look like. Now, um, you, can, you can come in and change this, uh, you know, anytime you want to. I can click on this again and suppose instead of red I wanted it to be I wanted it to have a uh, you know any color I want I could you know if I want a blue arrow I can make it blue and then for the stroke you can make the stroke any color you'd like um, you could make the stroke red if you wanted um, I would probably just you know go with black something like this and then um, basically me get that off of there. Basically this stroke, this black outline, um, looks pretty big to me. I usually, with something like this, I'd make it about a three-point stroke outline and make it look like this. And so, you know, there's an arrow that uh, that I've made. And now I hit command, uh, well, come up to view and come down to 100 percent and that's what my arrow would look like <clears throat> okay and I could save that and use it in my uh, videos for a flashing arrow but one thing that you need to make sure that you do is um, up here let's go back to like right here or up here go to layers and right now, if I saved this and used it, I would get my blue arrow with a black outline, except I would also get this white square all around it. And I don't want that because that would ruin it. So I come into the background, and by default, Photoshop gives you a white background around this. So click on this little eyeball here. And when I click on this, let me um, make this bigger. Command plus, Command plus, just so you can see this better come to the background and click on this little eyeball and see it takes that white background out. It should have a checkerboard pattern, meaning it's transparent. So now if I save this, then you know I can come up here and go to <clears throat> Save As right here and do a Save As and I could call it, you know, AAAA you know, for arrow or call it whatever you want to. But then I want to save this not as a Photoshop document, but I want to come down and save it as a PNG, a ping file, like that. And if I click that, that saves it on my desktop. And then I could use this. Again, let me just go to view 100%. Then I would have this arrow, and I could use this arrow. But I don't have to use, um, you know, that arrow. Uh, there are all these other arrows, any of these you could use, or if you wanted to use any of these other things that you see in there. Um, you know, you could, here's a starburst kind of thing. There are all these other ones. You could use any of those. It's just a point and click thing. It just takes a second to do. So, again, if you have um, Photoshop, you can, uh, you know, create graphics very, very quickly. Actually, I made my graphics in uh, Adobe Illustrator, but, you know, either way. Um, and, uh, yeah, so that's how you could make some graphics very quickly to use in your own uh, in your own videos. Okay, so just keep that in mind. I know everybody doesn't have Photoshop. If you've got GIMP, you could probably do it in, in GIMP. If you've got, you know, whatever you use, um, you could make some graphics like this. Okay, very good. Okay, well, thank you for watching the video, and if you'd like to download that graphics pack that I just showed you, um, all of those files, I have zipped those together in a zip file so that you only have to download one thing, and there's a direct download link in the description below this video. So if you click on that link, it will download automatically, and you have a Mac, I'm assuming, because you have ScreenFlow, and... Uh, 
So on a Mac, if you just double click on that zip icon, that zip file icon, it will self extract and you will end up with a folder that says Mike's graphics and all those graphics are in there and there's also a little PDF file with some interesting things uh, related to this video so yeah um, you can take that if you'd like to and again you guys are great I appreciate what you watch my videos and um, just my very best wishes and all you do on YouTube and uh, yeah let's talk again sometime okay